guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. I'm going to be showing you guys my self tanning routine. Lately, I've been loving to self tan and I found a very natural self tan that looks so good. Yeah, I've just been loving to self tan. It makes me feel more confident and obviously you don't need to, but I, don't know, I just love the look of being tan. So if you guys are wanting to know how to self tan or if you just want to watch my videos, then thank you. <laughs> but if you want to know how to self tan, the way I do it is very easy. I'm still fairly new to self tanning, so if you are new, this will definitely work for you. Great for beginners. <laughs> Today's video is in partnership with Loving Tan. They sent me these products and I've been loving them. So let's get right into my self tanning routine, how to self tan. The first step in my self tanning routine is in the shower. So when I'm in the shower, I like to shave and exfoliate. First thing I do is I like to shave. It just makes the tan look a lot nicer. It's easier to apply and it's smoother when you shave. So I definitely recommend doing that. And then after that, I exfoliate. To exfoliate, I use the Loving Tan Tan Removing and Skin Polishing Glove, I think it's called. But this just exfoliates and removes any tan you have left over. I don't use any other tan remover or anything. I just exfoliate and it creates a perfect base for the new tan I'm about to apply. Along with shaving, it creates a very smooth tan. It makes it look a lot better. It is very crucial to exfoliate. That's what makes it look way better than if you didn't. <laughs> and then right after I get out of the shower, I like to moisturize. This is very important in my opinion, especially your knees and elbows, anywhere that can like overdevelop or anywhere that's really dry. So I always make sure even if you don't moisturize the rest of your body, uh, at least do your elbows and knees because that is very important. <laughs> then once I'm out of the shower, it is time to apply the tan. For the tan, I use the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Bronzing Mousse. I use it in the shade Medium. This is a perfect shade for me. It looks very natural. It looks how I look after I've gone on a beach vacation or stuff like that. So that was my goal in the tan. I didn't want it to look fake or anything. I wanted it to be very natural to my skin tone. So that's why I chose the 2 Hour Express Medium and the shade is perfect for me. I also love using Loving Tan because it creates more like olive tone tan as opposed to those orange looking fake tans. You know what I'm talking about? I definitely wanted to avoid that. And a Loving Tan includes here, what is it? It is DHA and an ingredient called Urethalos, <laughs> I hope that's what it's called, but what that means is it eliminates orange tone. So to apply the tan, I use this deluxe applicator mitt from Loving Tan. It's very important to get a good quality mitt. This helps it not look streaky, splotchy, it just creates a very smooth tan. So depending on the area of my body depends on how many pumps I do. So for example, my legs, I'll do like three pumps, my arms two, my chest, I'll do like one or two, my back two or three. It just depends. The larger area, the more pumps I do. Pretty self-explanatory. I just use circular motions to rub in the tan all around. Something I love is their easy to apply color guide. So it has an instant bronzer in the tan so that you can see where you've already applied the tan. I think especially as a beginner, if it did not have this, it would just be a whole mess. It would not turn out very good. <laughs> so it just makes it very easy to apply. You can see where you've already applied the tan and you can see where you haven't. So you can make sure to get all those areas. A lot of questions people have is how to do their back. I personally just use my hands with the mitt to do my back. Loving Tan I believe has like a back applicator so you could always try that or you could get someone to go and quickly just do the back for you. Common areas people forget that you don't want to forget is the back of your neck here. I'm pretty sure you know where that is. Um, because if you forget to apply tan there and then you put your hair up, it doesn't look that good. The sides in between your stomach and your back often get left behind because people do like their stomach, their chest, and then they do their back and forget their sides. So you don't want to forget that. Those places are the ones that people often forget. So I just wanted to remind you guys, don't forget those spots. <laughs> Hands and feet are also the tricky part. So there are two ways you can do this. You can do it with just the mitt, which the first time I self tanned I did, and it turned out okay. But what I find is the most effective in creating a natural tan is to use a makeup brush. So I got one specifically for self tanning if you have any extras lying around. Obviously don't use the same ones you use for makeup, but just taking a nice, I use a fluffy brush, it works for me. I apply a little bit of self tan on the brush. You can always add more, so just start with a little bit. I brush over my hands lightly, making sure to get like in between my fingers here and in the knuckles and all that just to create an even natural looking tan. Same with my feet. 
feet, I use the brush. Then once I'm all tan on my body, I use the face tan. So I personally just use my hands for this. I've never had a problem with using my hands. I know some people use like a foundation brush, but I just use my hands. <laughs> and I use the deluxe face tan in shade medium. The medium, obviously, because I use the medium mousse, they match perfectly. I prefer to use this over the mousse because it's designed specifically for your face and I have sensitive skin. So this is more delicate and safe. Is that the right word? Safe to put on your skin. Just like the mousse, it has an instant bronzer so you can see where you've applied. So don't be worried about that. Just make sure you get it up into like your hairline all around here. Like I like to stop the mousse about here and then that's where I start the face tan. Make sure you get like the eyelids just all around your face because if you forget a spot then it'll be uneven. This product is buildable. It starts not being as strong as the mousse which I like because I'd rather my face not look super crazy tan um, and I can build on it. What I find works best for me is I will do my like nighttime skin routine, take off my makeup, put on toner, moisturizer and everything and then I will apply this before bed and then when I wake up my skin is nice and tan I wash it off and it looks great. So that is my favorite way to do this But this does develop in two hours so you can also just follow that But I definitely like wearing it to bed and I feel like when I wake up It looks like I've just spent the day on the beach, which is very nice So once I'm done tanning the tan dries really quick So after a minute or two, I just put on some loose clothes and go about my day I'll normally do some online school do some editing whatever But since it does dry fast you can wear it out and it'll look really nice Especially with that instant bronzer you get an instant little tan so you can wear it out it does dry really quick but I normally just wear it while I'm doing some stuff around the house so after about like two to three hours I will hop in the shower to rinse off the tan I don't use any soap or anything I just lightly use water to rinse off the tan and then when I come out I'm left with a very natural nice tan and the tan lasts about seven to ten days I like to moisturize very often throughout the week because that helps the tan last longer so if you want your tan to last longer I tend to just moisturize every day once I get out of the shower. I find that works for me. I just have a routine. Once I get out of the shower, I moisturize and that helps the tan last longer. So I'm going to insert some pictures. This is before the tan. This is with the instant bronzer on before I've had a chance to shower it off. And then this is after once I've rinsed it off. Another thing I like to use sometimes is their deluxe gradual tan. Normally about midway through the week, I'll just use the mitt. You apply it the same way you would the tan and it just can help enhance your tan, help it last a little longer. You can also use this just on its own if you don't want to get the mousse and just use this tinted body lotion like it says in the name it's gradual so it is buildable meaning you can apply it daily until you get a color that you like personally my favorite way to use it is in between tanning it also includes shea butter and is a moisturizer because it's a body lotion so it's like a two-in-one you get moisturized you get a little tan it's perfect and unlike the mousse you apply it the same way but you don't need to rinse it off because it is a lotion you can just leave it on the last thing I like to use is the bronze shimmer. I have this in shade medium. Everything I have is in shade medium. I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it just creates a nice little shimmer to your tan. It deepens it a little. I apply it using the mitt, just like the mousse the gradual tan, the mitt helps it go on really evenly. This can definitely be worn on its own. I love to layer it on top of the other tan. I think it looks really nice. It just adds a little shimmer. It creates the perfect bronze glow. And with this, the results are like instant. Like I put it on right before filming and it looks really nice. I love to wear this for taking photos. I think it looks really nice in photos and it dries super quick. So I put it on and then put on my clothes like a minute after. It just takes like a minute to dry. Like the face tan and gradual tan, it has some really good ingredients. It has aloe vera coffee pomegranate extract so it is very good for your skin and that's my self tanning routine those are all the things i like to do for my tan obviously all those products work independently but they also work really well together i do have a discount code for you guys so if you use the code dahlia you can receive a free mitt with any mousse or gradual tan i definitely recommend these tans they create such a natural look and i just think it's fun especially since we're all at home right now fun little thing to do to just self tan obviously you don't have to but i just love the look of it so definitely if you guys want to try it out let me know thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys